Hey, wonderful people. So today I'm getting ready to make a pellet basket for my efficient charcoal retort. So what I'm going to do is this is the pellet basket I made for my three and a half inch retort or just rocket stove. <clears throat> and you've seen the video of the uh, rocket stove uh, burner that I made for the retort and I had a temporary I had a temporary basket pellet basket in there just to test it out so now I'm getting ready to make the permanent one like this and the permanent one needs to be uh, four and a half inches so I believe it's four and a half inches so I'm getting ready to do that so check it out so what I'm going to do is you see these rings that I made around the, these are stainless steel quarter inch rod. And this is what I use to make my pellet baskets. And these are just measurements, increments, of where I need to bend the rod to make this shape. So this is my, this will be my pellet basket for my, um, <clears throat> these are the um, rods for my five inch pellet basket. And <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna need I I, I, I need, I'm gonna need about ten of them. So I'm gonna make these, and I'll use my little bender and show you how I make them. Okay, change of plans. The space between my rod bender rods is too great to make these bends, so I'm gonna use the vice grip.
almost perfect. So, in order to get these bent properly, what you want is you want that mark to be in the bend. You don't want it to be below, you don't want it to be above. You want the mark in the bend. Sorry about the shaky camera. So in order to do that, when I put it in the vise, I put the mark about a quarter of an inch up above where the jaws of the vise grab the rod and then I bend it. Because if I put it right on the mark, then the bend is gonna be above the mark. I want the bend, I want the mark in the bend. So I go about a quarter of an inch below the mark. All right. Okay, I got everything bent up and I have placed it in the configuration that I want to weld. I got three sixteenth inch spacers in between every grid. And I'm gonna weld this up with a some cobalt. 308L stainless steel rods, three thirty seconds of an inch. And so I got my trusty Fournay Easy Well 140MP multi purpose. Love that machine. And Fournay doesn't even give me any credit for it. So I'm going to weld this baby up and we'll keep on moving. Alrighty, there is my pellet basket, all welded up. This is not my best work as a pellet basket. As you can see, I got some pieces here that are higher 
than the others. My air gap down here is about an inch in the sides. And one thing that I figured out between making this one and making this one, this one is completely uniform. And that is because all these all these in between rods, the exact same length. And I used my um, bender to bend these. They're the exact same length. And I bent them. So make sure when you're making one of these, that all your rods, internal rods, these are my support rods on the outside. So all your internal rods are the exact same length. That's important. And then use make yourself some sort of a jig to bend them. But um, and then bend them all at the same angle, same length, and then it'll be nice and uniform. But this will work because the most important thing is the spacing in between the rods so that the pellets can drop through. So, um, but yeah, there it is. So, all right, good people, I am going to finish up this video, but listen, I'm going to throw this in my... Uh, retort burn box see how it works and uh, I'll let you see that and um, that'll probably finish up this build I'm finally I think I'm to a point where I can finish it up and um, get it all done sand it down paint it up have me a nice little charcoal retort but uh, listen people if you want to make this world a better place treat people the way you want them to treat you and not the way all right, I'll see you next time.